Hello, my name is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be setting up a specialty page or an extra page for my classic happy planner and I'm going to talk about all this goodness going on so stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm going to be setting up a extra page or a specialty page for my, I'll be housing it in my classic happy planner for now, and then it will get moved over um, shortly. So it'll be housed in here under my holidays tab. It is going to be a holiday um, paper or extra paper. And um, before I dive into that, let me just kind of talk about this a little bit. So I have some notebooks that I kind of want to show you. I don't recall if I ever showed this one or not. Um, I just have to make sure my page wasn't showing. So um, this is, and I don't even know the name. I should probably have looked it up. So I apologize for that in advance. But I grabbed this, I think it was from the fall release. And I just loved it because it had all this green in it and the gold. I love green and pink and you know, all those fun colors. So I grabbed this up because it also put me in mind of Thanksgiving and fall time. And it just kind of gave me that vibe. So I grabbed this. Uh, this is just a glimpse on the inside. And then I'll show you the tabs. I can't show you what's behind here because we're going to talk about that. Uh, here's the next tab. So there's three tabs and there's dot lined paper. And then there's this one. This one's really pretty. They're all pretty, but I like this one a lot. And then the back cover. Okay. So let me come back to that in a second. I'm going to show you this one quickly. You will see this again in 2024. This is the Bold and Free uh, dot line, dotted lined notebook from um, by Candace Happy Planner. So it's a collaboration with Candace and Happy Planner. And I just love this gold this neutral but gold highlighted cover. Um, it's really pretty. And these discs, they, they're black, but they almost look like a very, very, very deep blue. I'm sure they're black, but that's just how I see things in the light. So I'll reintroduce this in 2024. I'm going to put this one aside. That will be part of my setup or uh, lineup for 2024. So now we're going to get into the good stuff. So... Um, I'll be setting up today an extra page that is going to be put onto my Homesteader uh, filler paper, and I'm going to use Homesteader stickers. I have some other things out here that um, I plan on using. I have my distressed inks and a stamping block, as well as some past Coco Daisy um, planner or uh, memory keeping stamps. And this actually was from October of 22. So um, I'm going to be using something from here to do this extra page. So, and then I have a few things off to the side. I have some circle punches. I may um, bring those in and just kind of quickly show what I was planning on using them for. And then, not that I'll be using it in the video today, but because I kind of have this fall vibe going on, I just wanted to show you this adorable mug I found at Hobby Lobby. It's a cute little gnome and he has his little fall leaves. How adorable is this, right? I can't wait to use this for fall. So I'm going to tuck him off to the side there. He kind of goes with my whole fall thing. So um, basically, I am going to be setting up today a um, seating chart for Thanksgiving dinner. This seating chart will go in my main planner for now under the holiday tab. It will eventually be moved over here because what I have behind tab number one is something that I will be sharing with you. Hopefully it will get posted by this coming Saturday. You will see this today on Thursday, this page here. And then I'll hopefully get this done by Saturday and that will be uh, part of Saturday's video. So um, stay tuned for that. And clearly it has a fall vibe and feel to it. So, um, and you'll have to be just to let you know, you can 
sign up in advance. In order to get this, you're going to need to be a subscriber of the newsletter. So if you want to jump on board in advance, you'll automatically get access to the free members only uh, printables and download resource library. And then this will be housed in there as well. So again, you, what I'm going to show you in the coming days will be something you'll have to be on the newsletter for. So let me set this aside after that long winded thing. And then let's get making. So I decided what I wanted to do was use the um, Homesteader filler paper, which is really cute because on the back, it has this nice quote. It's a grid paper, so you could use this for anything. It has like a nice floral print on the side. And what I'm going to do is that I am going to create a seating chart for Thanksgiving. This paper will ser serve multiple purposes, so I'm going to kind of jump in and start doing it as I am um, kind of chatting all along, talking too much. That's what I do. Um, so I'm going to pull out my, I think I want to use my black suit, soot um, stamp ink. And then I also have off to the side some additional stamps. I have my stamp cleaner. I like to be a clean crafter. So um, I am going to start with the thing that is really the whole point of it. So let me get out my stamps. And... And, you know, I know that not everyone will have these stamps, but you could very easily replicate this um, using a circle. So like this, a circle punch where you can punch paper. Uh, this is a one inch circle um, and then like a circle stamp. So I'm going to use this circle stamp that has a banner on it. And that is going to serve as the, you know, a plate circle. And then the banners, I can write in the banner who's going to sit where. So it's not something that, um, so I'm going to start inking and stamping. My table setting is going to go down here. We have a traditional square, or I should say rectangle farmhouse table. Seats up to eight. And so I'm going to use this block down here to put in my table. Um, and then we'll start filling it in as we go along. So, um, and I may not fill in the names necessarily because, you know, it's kind of the same every year, but sometimes things come up and then we have to add a table. So I have a plan for that as well. Um, and then we'll just keep going through and I'll show you all the things I plan on using it for and how I plan to use it. And <clears throat> I'm hoping I get this straight because that's important. I had to concentrate for a minute. <laughs> um, and then I'll show you how you can expand it if you needed to. Now, if you happen to have a really, really big family, you could go to the back side and use the grid paper to, to draw out your table, you know, put in your labels, however you like. This just happens to be something I wanted to try. I'm going to try and get this the same spot. Hopefully, so far so good. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say our family is big anymore. You know, everyone has their own individual family meals sometimes, so... I can kind of fit mine all in this space here. And I probably should have moved it over just a smidge, but that's okay. Let's get this one in there. I love how crisp and clean these uh, stamps are. They're really nice to work with. I'm going to do, let me do my circles here first. Of course, I need to try and get it as lined up as possible again. It's not urgent, but, and then um, we're going to draw on the table. So this is not, this is going to serve multiple purposes. It's not really going to be just for who's sitting where, um, although that does become an added benefit. It's going to serve multiple purposes, and we're going to go through each one. So let me get the rest of this stamped out. 
and we'll kind of get right into it. I'm always nervous about getting it in the right spot. All right. And then let's see. I've got one on each end. So we got six, yep, seven. And then we'll go to this side. How cute is this gonna look, right? So <clears throat> you can, if you wanted to, um, you can create paper banners. You can, so this one's gonna be a little bit tight on the end because I was not, let me grab this one quick here because this is gonna be a tight squeeze. All right. Nothing I can do about that now. It's a little close, but that's okay. It'll work. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stamp so that I am my clean little crafter that I like to be before we go any further. And to clean off my stamps, I use it really for all of my stamps. Um, I use this. It's my acrylic spritz cleaner. Again, anything I can link, I will link in the description box below. Um, and I think, I think, and it doesn't have to be this particular brand, any kind of cleaner for a specific stamp. So in this case, it's the, um, clear stamps. There's a cleaner for rubber stamps. Um, they will vary, you know, they don't have to be the same. The key is just cleaning it off. Okay. So let me get this back on. And... I am going to get my table drawn out. All right, I'm just going to set that there for the moment. So I'm going to erase the lines. I put two little marker lines just to kind of guide me on where I was going to put everything. So um, I can go ahead and get rid of those lines now. I'm going to bring in my ruler because I need that. All right, so... Let me pull over my go-to pen, Micron 01 Black, and I'm gonna move these stickers out of the way just so that I can see what I'm doing. So really these circles, you know, for me, they represented the plate, um, and but they also kind of represent the chair, you know, the seat that they're gonna sit in. And so what I'm gonna do I know it's not going to be a straight line, but I'm going to try and do it as straight as I can. Although I just did the very thing I was trying not to do, which was I did want to put a line through the banner. I got ahead of myself and well, now I'm going to pay the price. <laughs> so let's do this one and let me show you how it was really supposed to be done. That's okay. I'll, I'll work with what I've got. Okay, so what I basically wanted to do was just connect the banners, which, as you know, makes more sense. The downfall on this paper is it's colored on the bottom, so there's no way to white that out. So I will have to live with that um, and deal. <laughs> so let me get this one done as well. We're just going to connect the banners. And then this side. So you can tell from the bottom part that um, what it was supposed to be like. And again, this won't be necessarily a square table. <laughs> My, You have to get your stamps exactly right in order for it to be exactly square. Now, once that's done, I could go back through with a darker line. Um, but I'm not really... Look for my pen top. I'm not really looking to make um, the table stand out per se. I really wanted to just get the names in there and the, the table setting. So now in each of these banners, and I may find a way to fix that, we'll see. In each of these banners will go the name of the person that's gonna sit in that chair. And, okay, so there have been years where we've hosted uh, dinners and 
you know, at the time there were children. So whether there's children or there's extra seating that needs to be done, what I was going to do was prepare just in case. And I was going to pull out, I think it was this box here. <clears throat> So before I pull the one of these boxes out, let me get the other elements in so that I don't place the box where it shouldn't be. So I am going to, although I like this, um, I kind of want to stick with this theme. So I'm going to go ahead and white it out. As pretty as it is, and this is going to be for notes and ideas, um, I think I want to white it out. I don't think it'll show through the sticker I'm thinking of, but just to make sure, let me just get this covered. And what I'm gonna do, I don't need it to be perfect. It's gonna be hidden underneath some sticker. So I am going to pull out the sticker that's going there. And then what I'll do, Oh, here it is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll go through this sticker book and I'll kind of give you like some additional ideas with the other stickers that are in there. Again, should you want to create a larger place setting or it may help to fit your family's needs. Uh, for my page, I'm going to grab this blue. It has like a faint floral on it. It says gathering. And I'm going to put it up here in the corner. I'm going to get it as close to the corner as possible because I don't want to cut the circle. And there is some white out there. Okay. Perfect. And then the other thing I wanted to grab were these florals. So they're the blue floral pattern that's reminiscent within the um, Homesteader line. And, and actually it's the same one going down this side. This is kind of like a gray blue, but this has more of the blue in it and I wanna bring this out. I want to measure first, see which one is gonna be. I'm gonna take the smaller one at the moment. And I'm going to bring that one over here. Now, I want to measure first before I stick anything down about where I am. Okay. Let me get my tweezers. Sometimes these little tapes can get away from you. And I want to put this up here as sort of like a header. And I'm just going to center it as best as I can. All right. Looks pretty level. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it back to the um, boxes. Here we go. And there's kind of like two shades of blue, but because this is sort of on the light blue side, um, I think I'm gonna stick with the light blue. Because again, I don't know that I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna move these stamps out of the way briefly, just so that I can um, do what I need to do. So, when we have extra, um, and it's usually, you know, we've had, let me step back for a second. I used to entertain all the time. And the when we did entertaining, like I just went all out. I went crazy, went all out. And basically we'd end up with, in our dining space that we have, we ended up having like um, a regular table, which at the time wasn't the large farmhouse table, and two or three um, those fold out tables. So, and then a children's table. So we had a very full house, you know, upwards of 20, 25 people. So it's gotten smaller over the years, you know, people have passed, people have moved away and so forth. So 
I do still have though a the potential that we may have to have a second table and this is an idea for you. So I'm going to be using this sticker in the area of the, the setting and basically what it's going to become is my extra table. So in here I can write who's going to sit where. Now the kids table was usually like a card sized table because um, we had that many kids that could sit there, four kids. And so this is kind of a perfect size, whether you pull out a rectangle table, you know, the fold-out tables, or a square, you know, card table type deal. So I want to leave this here in case we have an extra table that we need to pull out for whatever reason. And um, then I'm going to do, let's see. So there's one idea that I wanted to mention. I'm just looking at my stamps over here off to the side to make sure that, because I have all of these, let me close that for a minute. I have all of these beautiful stamps that have, you know, autumn quotes and, you know, beautiful, grateful quotes. I've got, I'm going to use the month on here because that, this is going to be for Thanksgiving dinner. So I will be using the month. Um, I may throw in, of course, you know, my pumpkin or two. And um, I actually think as well, let me get this picked up. I think what I am going to do is um, I'm going to create a little decoration in the middle of the table. So before I stick anything else down, let me do that. I need to make sure... I need to get a different stamping block. Okay, so I brought out a bigger one just because I know this one stamp is pretty big, or long, I should say. So I'm gonna take out this one. Let's get this one on here. And I don't think you'd hear it, but you may hear my husband, he's on a meeting, so, um, if you hear someone talking in the background, that's who it is. <laughs> All right, so I am going to take this little leaf pattern. Give it a little ink. And since I have more room down here, I will turn this. So it'll kind of just mimic a, a table runner of sorts. And I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to put this one back. And I've been um, working on this thing I'm going to announce for Saturday. And I just felt the need to be creative. So uh, hence why I've jumped on here to do this. I've pulled out some stamps. You know, I've pulled out all the stops to do what I need to do. So I'm gonna grab this little pumpkin on here. You know, sometimes you just get in a mode and you need to create something. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with black because I don't wanna take away from the pretty blue in the florals. So I think I'm gonna stick with this. I don't think it's too big. Um, let's see. Okay. I'll just, <clears throat> excuse me, keep cleaning and stamping and cleaning and stamping. Um, there is, I have a little acorn, but you know, that's kind of big. So I do need to pull out another stamp, but I'm going to do my November. Pull this one out here. Get that put at the top. Yeah, so just all this stuff I've been doing, trying to get prepared, I just needed to do something creative. So that is why I'm jumping ahead. You know, everyone's getting ready for their trick-or-treating and costumes and 
Um, we're all ready for um, trick-or-treaters, but I don't, you know, my daughter doesn't go out trick-or-treating anymore. And uh, we're just kind of getting ready. You, if you actually check out the blog, I posted a fun Cricut tutorial for dollar store buckets that are now going to serve as our candy buckets. It was so much fun to do that. Um, so if you like Cricut or you want to check out a creative idea, head on over to the blog. So let me get this back and then I will filter out the noise I'm going to make looking for this other stamp I need. <laughs> I will um, probably edit that out. I do have to move some things to get there. Now I'm considering using this here, but I haven't decided yet. So I'm not gonna stamp that. Okay, well I made a bigger mess because they were in an easier, more easier access than I thought. So um, again, I'll still edit all that out. But basically these are little stamps that I had received from one of the um, Planner Society kits when she was doing kits. And it has like a little pumpkin and acorn. There's a fox, which I won't use. A coffee or cocoa and then some boots. So those I won't use. But I was thinking about the acorn. So let me get some of those on there. I'm just trying to fill in my little table runner. You know, the little runner that I have. Let's see, which way does it go? This way. Now this stamp is going to require a different um, cleaner, which I will get out. I just am cleaning off the edges. These um, stamps are so small that the uh, ink sometimes gets on the edges of it. So I was just cleaning off the edges. I don't want the edges to be stamped. So I'm gonna clean that corner and this corner. You just use a paper towel to wipe it clean. Um, let's try. And again, as you know, the only problem with these stamps is you can't see where you're stamping. <laughs> so see, it's not quite where it's supposed to be, but that's okay. It just had the smallest size acorn I could find, but I can fix that. So let me just um, move some of this. What is this? This is the little pumpkin, so I'm going to use that as well. And I'm gonna use that to put maybe here. Oop, I didn't clean my corner. All right. Okay, so now I wanted a leaf. Now, the leaves are gonna be a little harder because they're all large, like this one's pretty big. And this one's probably the smallest there is. So maybe we'll try that. Let's try, I do really like the smaller, or the smaller stamps, but I like that um, I can see where I'm putting them. It's just so much easier. So let's see, move that over there. And I think I'm gonna put this one, let's put this one, try to put this one kind of here. And then I saw a fun little idea as I was stamping this to do one right off of this word. I'm trying to stamp it, but also allow you to be able to see where I am. But I'm getting a glare from my lamp on the top of the stamp here, so it's kind of hard to see where, where I am. All right, so I have an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna bring some color into this now. 
I have two, I want to bring in some oranges and greens and I'm going to, since again, I don't have my little tester of these. I just want to make sure I get the right tone of the orange. I don't want to grab the wrong orange. If I start using a, a color, I don't want to grab the wrong one. So all I'm going to do is take Tombow marker and just kind of fill in this. I'm not looking for perfection. I don't, you know, not wanting to make sure I color every line. Just something to give this leaf just a little bit of color. And it's just kind of a rough color in. I think that's good enough. Again, I just want to get a little bit in there. All right, and then Then I'm going to go to the darker green and I'm going to do the stem on here. Just a little dab of color. This leaf I'm going to do in green. I will need to pull over a brown one, a brown marker I mean. All right. All right, so I have two browns. One is kind of a reddish brown. So let me just verify that that is the brown I want. Yes. Okay. And I'll, again, I'll link everything in the, the description. So all I'm going to do is kind of give the acorn some color. So I did the darker brown on the top and then I'll do this lighter brown on the bottom. Just something to give it a little bit of color. And then I'm gonna go back to the orange to get this pumpkin. Okay. So the nice thing about distressed inks, I think I've mentioned, is that you can color over them and they won't pick up too much of that um, ink. Uh, so like if you use Tombow, it won't pull up too much of this ink. Uh, it'll pull up a little, but not much. Um, okay, so now I am going to put something in here. I'm going to put some writing. And then I'm going to decide if I need any more stamps on the front. So over here, all right, I want to, I'm debating again, as I said, if I want to use the 11 in here, I think I'm going to. because I'll show you why. So sometimes I'll come on here and I have this idea of how I want to have it done. But then I start working in it and I do something. I'm like, you know, I kind of would like that better. So that's usually where my little pauses come in and I'm transitioning in the video. It's because I'm usually shifting my gears a little bit just to do something a little bit more that I rather do. So I'm going to put this here because, and I think I've mentioned when you're stamping, don't, um, you don't need to press too hard. Uh, the stamps, if you press too hard, you're basically going to squash the stamp against the paper. Um, so that would be my biggest tip. I know you want to make sure you get it stamped, and I totally get that, but sometimes that pressure 
is what causes images to become doubled or, um, you know, not show up clearly. They get blurry. So I'm going to put that back and I'm going to do a little quote down the side here. I am going to do probably a bigger block than what I really needed, but again, it works. I'm just going to get it on there straight. Okay. Give it some ink. And then right down the side of this, I'm going to do this quote. All right. I'm going to get this back. Oops, I have to put it back, not take one out. <laughs> All right, so let me step back here. I need to take a look at my stickers because, so here's the thing. One of the things I wanted to mention is, let me get these circles over here. So I pre-trimmed, and I think I have to um, sharpen up my paper punches, but I have a one inch circle. Let's do that. And then I also have a one and a half inch circle. And what you could do as well is you could punch out scrapbook paper, regular paper, however, if you have this paper but you don't have, you know, the stamp that I was using to do the seating, you could use circles and you could do the same thing. You could put the, you know, this is, that particular stamp is about one inch. So you could do that. You can use Happy Planner stickers to do the banners. Um, there are a variety of ways to do that. You could also, if you have a bigger gathering, you can go on to the back and do the circles as well. However, you know, if you have three table settings you're gonna do, you can lay out the room that you're putting it in. Um, again, those are just all ideas, just suggestions that might help if you have a larger gathering for your Thanksgiving dinner, if you host it. Um, it's just, you know, throwing out ideas for you. And then the other thing I wanted to bring up was, let me go through the sticker book because um, I am going to pull out some more stickers, but I'm looking for, you could also use these. So again, you can use this as the table, um, you can build the chairs around it. You could use a quote. So this could look like a runner, right? Let me get my circle. You know, and you have on your paper, this could look like the table with a tablecloth on it. And you can put this on, you know, you have your end seats here. You could probably get at least three in. Let's take a look at that. So you could do one, two, three. So you could do the same thing by using one of these longer stickers. Um, if you go to the back side, you could use something like the plates. If you have the Homesteader sticker book, um, I know a lot of us fell in love with this line. So we picked up these things. So I'm just throwing some things out there for you, um, in case they help you out. Uh, there was another idea. Let me get to that page. Uh, that was using... Where is it? It's a bigger sticker. It is right here. So you could use this as well as a table or you could use this to capture memories. So if you turn it sideways and so let's, so this is kind of what I'm gonna do. I have all the details of that day on here. So I have my table setting. I'm going to have notes like maybe what decorations to put out. We have, you know, holiday dishes, you know, that kind of thing. So all that notation will go in here. And then on the back, I'm going to do some small memory keeping. So it won't be very big at all. Um, but with regard to the memory keeping, you could, let me pull back over my circles. You could take photos 
okay? And then take the hole punch, punch out the circles. You can, if you use the back for your table setting, you could put all the pictures, you know, sketch out in pencil the circle. And then when the people come, you can get pictures of them. You can put the picture on the table setting where they sat. Uh, that's an idea. Or you could take one of these and you could put the sticker on in this orientation, if that's the way you took the photo. And if you have the Canon um, zinc paper for your Canon IV printer, which again, I'll link that in the bottom. I have this Canon IV printer and I'm telling you, it's a godsend. It gives me pictures quickly. I can print from my phone. They're not um, wall worthy per se, but they are perfect for capturing and tracking memories. So if you took this picture, this is basically the size of the Canon paper, you would only have to do minimal trimming in order to fit this picture into this frame here. So, you know, you'd trim a little, there'd be a little off the edges and then um, a little off the length as well. So for the most part, unless you're doing a really close up photo, you would be able to trim this down perfectly to fit this. And you can have, you know, let's say if you have an elderly aunt or grandparent or, you know, whatnot, you could, I'm going to move some of these things out of the way because I'm trying to open the sticker book. You could take these and use them as the photo capture because, you know, I've always said life is precious. Don't waste it. You know, capture memories. What is today may not be tomorrow. And, you know, having family around is kind of that thing where you really want to document those memories. You really don't want to miss out for any reason to document those memories. So, you know, you could use this for... Um, a grandparent, you know, it's never a bad thing to get photos. So that's an idea for those. And I think that was kind of it in terms of the ideas. Again, you could use these circles even if you wanted as um, place settings. Same as the plates. Um, and then, of course, you have some quotes. You can put those anywhere. And I already talked about the long boxes, which you can use as the table runner. And, and you could also add, so let's say you didn't do like one of those frames as the picture. You could, let's say, so for me, if I'm going to be doing memory keeping on the back, which I will be, um, I could take my Canon photo, I can put my photo down, and then let's say, you know, it was of a child who did or said something quirky and it was fun and you want to record that memory. You could take one of these washi taped boxes, which have lines in it, so it's perfect for writing, and you can layer it to the photo and then write on the photo. So, you know, that's another idea. So there you go. I mean, it's never ending. I could come up with a ton more to share with you, but I just wanted to give you an idea. I will not be doing a whole lot on the backside just because um, I don't know quite how I want to do the layout of those memories yet. So the only thing I am going to do on the flip side is there's a blue floral, like gray blue florals down the side. I do want to keep with um, the circle. So let me go back to, oops. Great. Let me see if this is one I want. So this circle from the front, I want to keep, again, balance, and I want to get a circle down here. So since I have a blue floral, I think what I'll use is, um, I like this one because it kind of has the florals in it as well. It's just not very big. Uh, let's use this one instead. I'm going to use this. So this is kind of that gold one. And I'm going to use that just down in the corner. And then what I will do is I will likely take my permanent marker 
and I'll write memories here, or I may cover this up slightly and put it there. Um, so that's what I'll do. I, again, I'll be using these as my place settings <laughs> or photo settings. So as I told you, like I'll keep all these blue papers that come out of the machine when you load a new packet. And I hold on to them because then it helps me set up my page. So I might put one here and then I can put one down here and then another two technically here. You can do one angled here and one angled there. So I can probably get at least four photos on here using the Canon IV photo printer. So there's that. And I'm just going to, oop, back here. I want to separate as I looked at it. I'm not sure if it's long enough. I'm going to give it a shot. I kind of want to separate this top up here from the bottom. Even though the bottom has a color on it, I still want to kind of separate it. So I'm going to add in right here, and I think I may combine two. All right, so I just cut this so that I can get it to fit under this or very close to the um, stamp that I made. All right, and then I'm gonna take this other small piece here and I'm just gonna connect these two. So let's see, the best way to connect them, let's do this. And look, you barely even notice that they weren't separate. In fact, you almost can't tell. I like that. Okay. And that's it. So, you know, for really what I wanted to get done, which was to get this page created so I can get my seating chart in, um, I am going to search. I know I have some more small stamps and I'm going to search for them because I'm going to add in a few other decorations on here that's going to also cover up that stamp. And then once I write the names in here, you won't even see that line. You won't even notice it. So um, I think that's all I'm going to do here. This will become my notes. Anything I need to note about the day, um, you know, quick jot it down, uh, what I want to serve or things I need to get or whatever. And then the back side will serve as the place that I record my memories. So there is my Thanksgiving table seating chart for all intents and purposes and I used the home starter paper filler paper and stickers to do what I did and um, I mean I added in a few extra stamps but you could still replicate these things even if you didn't have that exact stamp so I gave a bunch of other ideas from this book and I will um, try and uh, chapter them in the description box if I can find them. I should be able to chapter them um, so that they're easier to access for you. So there you have it. I hope I have inspired you to do something creative today and every day and that you create your beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.